Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Torna the Golden Country. As you can see we are in the middle of a sea because I did not expect us getting into the cave would trigger this. I thought us interacting with a stone would trigger the quest. So the moment we got in I pressed that record button and here we are. So you didn't miss anything but a shot from the bunny stone and let's be honest we already saw it. So let's uh, start this episode with that's the Barney Stone. You might find certain mysterious stone pillars on your adventures called Barney Stones. They are featured as unique to Torna. Checking out the Barney Stone means you'll have to fight off some monsters, but if you can manage it, you'll get some hidden treasure. Preparation is key. Yeah, I said preparation is key, but I've never handled this, so I don't know if there's a level requirement. I think we've been spotted. Okay, so you don't get a warning on how high the level is, so you just have to wing it. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure whatever they throw at us, we'll be able to handle. Oh, grab, grab. more. And then we grab the stuff then first. So there's multiple levels, multiple tiers. Even more, really? No oh, but that's good. This enemy is just the one. Oh crap, I thought it was another one. Just the one Mithra needs for her affinity charge. No, I lost an item. Glint. Oh well. You're coming with me, treasure. Secret flag blueprint. Is it a secret flag to our community or something totally different? Ah, uh, an item he can create. Interesting. Aren't we intrepid? <sighs> Spoiling for a fight. Happy to oblige. Ah. Alright, then after we beat this enemy and pick the collecting point, we're gonna back, go back to the harbor. And in case you were wondering, yes. I've also done all the topples we needed for the other quest. Alright. Let's open up her chart. Good. Fine. I got your back. Thank you. So we can complete those two and add them to our community. Even you know your ground, we must stay vigilant. Huh? You haven't actually gone and found it, have you? The Barney Stone? And the treasure? Then tell me all the juicy details. I knew you had it in you, didn't I say it? So, what do you think? Do you think you'll become an adventurer now and make a killing? And there's a legend about a stash of buried gold in Torna's vast desert. If I join forces with you, I reckon we could make a tidy profit. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, the last thing I need in my line of work is more tough competition. Well, thanks very much for listening to my waffle. I hear there are other Barney Stones scattered around Torna, so good luck with those. Community gained. Well done, us. I knew you'd be the ones to uncover the blue Barney stash as soon as I saw you. Hope you'll find the rest of them too. They should be hidden all over. Hmm. 
I wonder if it also means where they are in our community. That you need 15 for the next level. So we're gonna get loads of them. Will the icons become smaller or will they go on the outer outer edge of it? Will they become lines between the community? Yeah. So much uh, factors we haven't known yet. <laughs> we'll find out. Give me a shout next time something happens. How's the Barney Stone search going? You haven't forgotten, have you? That famed adventurer who sealed up the treasure and monsters alike in stones? Touch the stone and defeat the monsters that come out and you get to keep all the goodies. But don't worry about it. It's not like any normal person is gonna go stumble across the treasure, so take your time. A nice uh, community icon next to her face. That's beautiful. Meh, meh. Faces of friends have looked that say, We pass your test, oh great Roly Poly. How Roly Poly know without even look? Oh, Roly Poly is Master Warrior. I can tell such thing by sense aura, and so on. That aside, it seemed that first impressions of Roly Poly was correct. A friends can hold friends own. Very good. That concludes this test. But there are more tests coming up in future. The level of difficulty will be much higher. Also, Blade of Roly Poly is scouting field for skilled drivers over Garmat Wee. If friends have no pleasure of meeting yet, it would be great if you could find and show what friends can do. Okay, Roly Poly will wait on tenderloins for next time. We can uh, give friends tests uh, to do. Till then. Quest completed. A happy conclusion. Roly Poly still worries if Kroka Kane taking job of scouting out drivers seriously. Ah, I should explain. Krogane is Blade of Roly Poly. Even for veteran war like self, trusting partner 100% when partner far away, not easy thing. This reaffirm all driver and blade wisdom that say close is best to have strong bonds between partners. Okay, so that fulfilling that quest was not enough to get him to our side. Oh well. That just means that not everybody <laughs> will become part of our community. And that's fine. And I think that's it for this region. Let's have a check on the map if we have any other icons. Nope. I think we're good. We have one area we can't get to yet because we don't have the skill yet. So I'm guessing time to go to the next one. Ah, so you're finally here, huh? I've been waiting for you. You going to Gormod? Yes, we are. Hop on. I only just became a Titan ship captain apprentice, so it might be a bumpy ride. Try not to hurl or anything. I'm sure the blades will be alright, but... Well... <laughs> will they, though? Look at that city. <laughs> One day we'll go there, I'm sure of it. Alright. Oh, I wonder how Tori Goth is uh, looking like. It's gonna be so interesting. Gormoth. Uh, Lady Laura, welcome to Le Sham Cove. Ah, so this is Gormoth, huh? It's so pretty. I think the grass really is green around the other side. Hmm, it is kind of a dream destination, isn't it? Ah, and that's exactly why everyone's trying to claim it for themselves, ruining it for everyone else. Still, it's not like there was anywhere else to turn to. This is practically the only place where Lady Laura's mother could uh, feel secure these days. Oh, don't look so glum, Hayes. 
If it weren't for you, I'd never have found out my mother fled here. I can't thank you enough for that. Oh yes, I suppose. Come on, let's uh, get to Torigoth. I can't wait to see mother again. Okay, let's just head along the road. It will take us straight there. Hmm, just remember, this is uncharted territory for us, so try not to... Never mind, it's not like I need to tell any of you that. Yes, I dare say we all learn to exercise caution by this point. So let's not dally then. Onwards. Right. People to talk to, places to look after, shops to uh, procure. Ah, welcome. Weapons we offer strong enough even to smack monsters around here into the middle of next week. Alright, we got fangs, we got tins. Yeah, it's the same as it was before, of course, that you want to pick the one which stat-wise fits best with the character you're trying to be. So, I'm working Jin and Mithra technically uh, are uh, attacker, so we need more critical rate. Okay, so is Wingship a better fang chip? Didn't expect that, but since it doesn't change anything, uh, we have 21,000, which is a nice good old sum. Yeah, we, we can afford it. Uh, buy two. And for Haze, yeah. I think, uh, well, we could go for Wing Chip. Because this he is definitely a healer. A healer doesn't need block because it's not a tank. Yeah, might as well get another one. Meadow Crochier. Alright. Ah, if friends want to make journey light, buy friends shells good accessories. Yeah, and I've always thought with uh, the previous game as well, that accessories, you get so many from the enemies that why would you ever buy one? Alright, let's uh, use the chip on Mithra as well before I forget, which you know I would. Diligence and devotion. Good. It's only a little bit of an increase, but every little bit uh, works to for make us better again. Yes, all right. Ever run up against a monster you've fought plenty of times, except this time it's proven to be a real toughie? Well, you might want to take a look at each other's uh, elements and what your weaknesses are. Because if your element is fire and the enemy is water, you're gonna get your ass handed to you. Elements can easily spell the difference between victory and defeat, so pay close attention to them. We will. Oh, how was my steering? That bad? Well, I'm from Torna, born and raised in the capital. Couldn't get on with my eccentric dad, so I left home and became a captain's apprentice. The air is good in Gormoth, at least. Torna's got plenty of trees, but around the capital it's mostly desert. Clouds of sand don't make for good breathing. I like my new job. Means I can go all sorts of places. Yeah, I can get that. And flying through the air, like you just don't care. It's beautiful in its own way. Ah, check out uh, all this nature. Come on, take a deep breath. Feels good, huh? Not like Torna at all. Gormod's famous for its clear waters and pristine natural beauty. Be careful though. At the heart of this land dwell hordes of strong monsters. You want to keep an eye out if you stray too far from the road. I can imagine. So 
just carry straight on down this road and you'll become uh, to Torgoth village. Try to stay on the road though, okay? There are some pretty scary monsters around. Sometimes you get eager travelers who stray too far from the road and bump smack into them. They end up uh, running for their lives from the roots. Paints a scary picture, don't you think? I know adventuring can be rewarding, but if you're like me and you value your own life, <laughs> yeah, stick to the road. Ooh, more machine parts? The suspense is killing me. The suspense is killing me. Well, getting confronted with death will only make you stronger. Aren't we intrepid? I see a few more people to talk to. Hey guys, and check out this devil baguette recipe I picked up. The more recipes you get a hold of, the better your cooking repertoire will be. Sometimes people will give you to them, or might get a sudden brainwave. It happened to me, eh? anyway. Also, it can be a ton of fun collecting recipes, but don't forget to actually try them out. Trust me, you'll love it. Yeah, yeah, because when you make something in the camp menu, you get a tick in front of it that you've made it. I would really love to have a tick in front of all of them. Now, Lyda, I don't want to rain on your parade here, but you must understand. We didn't come to Gormit for fun and games. There is absolutely no reason for us to linger at the cove any longer than we... Uh, Lyda? Uh, are you even listening? Nope, she is not. <laughs> oh, wary travelers, surely you old people must know the meaning of bond that sweetens over time. You drivers and blade fight together, and with time your hearts and minds become one. It's so beautiful. After all, a shared action is worth far more than a thousand words could ever express. Such a bond is only natural, but how can I sweeten my bond with a woman who doesn't believe in love? Oh, this sweet pain that pricks my chest to stitch her name here in my fairy flesh. Love is pain, my friends. Yeah, a very... Uh, very deep and sorrowful text uh, with such an upbeat music. Well, most materials can just be gathered, but there are some things you can only get by defeating monsters. A handyman I met at the restaurant told me that. Apparently he had a hard time getting some stuff he needs for work. I commiserated with him and told him how hard it was to deal with Leo sometimes. <laughs> yeah, he was a nice guy. It does seem that way. Alright, one more quest and then we can head out. The suspense is killing me. Ah, Prince Adam. What pleasure to see you again. Is MacMac most trusted intelligence operative? Prince grows so big and gorgeous. Ah, uh, if only MacMac was 30 years younger. <laughs> oh, just kidding, of course. Where was MacMac? Ah, yes. Case of poisonous substance dealings. Dum dums not realize how dangerous that is. Poisonous substance is red pollen orb. Some dum dums stupid enough to buy, and dealer wrecked, rakes in gold. Macmac is on trail of dum dums, but dum dums always seem to be one step ahead of Macmac. Which brings Macmac request: Prince Adam help efforts of Macmac to seize red pollen orbs. Pollen orbs cargo stored in green barrels. A friend see green barrels, should smash into pieces on spot. Under no circumstance use pollen orbs, or Macmac personally show up and give spankings. It's clear. You promise? Mac Mac will return to Torna in meantime and gather more intel on Dum Dums. We'll personally expose Dum Dums for wrongdoings in name of Prince Adam. That's about it, uh, side of Mac Mac. So please look for green barrels and retrieval of pollen orbs. Uh, we'll do that, and it looks like something that just Some happens when we explore. How many? 13 out of 70. Oh, this is a long, long standing one. And that's fine. We haven't gotten any other quests. So we can keep it on the list. Ooh, that's a big bird. Um, to be back here again in this uh, settings. And try. I think I'm recognizing the spots of how they lose to look like. Because nature wise. That shouldn't be too different, right? This is becoming addictive. Okay, let's uh, move on forward. 
I can uh, take my time to collect in between episodes. That is more than easy to. For now, we can enjoy the settings and uh, find Torigoth. Because it should be right ahead of us. And it's probably really small in comparison to what it's going to be. Because I can't see it yet. I wonder what part of the town was the first uh, that got built. And is it still represented in the modern Torigoth? Leanne Meadows. Ooh. Lots of monsters. This is becoming addictive. It is. We made it. Good stuff. Doesn't You're seem so bad. You're coming with me, treasure. Oh, are you a band of drivers and blades? You look pretty strong, but I don't think you'd be suited uh, for being in my party. Why not you ask? Well, to put it bluntly, you're simply not up to the task. Are you keeping your skills up to scratch to make sure you're ready for battle? You have to think carefully about skills you want to train and use your experience from battling and questing. And me? Well, <laughs> I'm the cream of the crop when it comes to uh, thieving skills. I'm afraid that uh, we just wouldn't have be a good match. Uh, maybe not now, but one day we, we might. Intrepid? Hmm, Doc, they call me. You could say I'm an adventurer, but also have a scholarly interest in links between Ether and Titans. Do you lot know anything about this atmospheric disturbance called the Ether Miasma? There have been a few of these Ether Miasmas popping up around Gormoth lately. Only little ones, mind. I was going to go and have a look myself, but I got set upon by monsters before I could get very far. To be honest, it is more the intellectual side of adventuring that I'm into. I'm not too great in all that rough stuff. So I was just wondering if you lot could help me out. I bet you make light of uh, work of the Espina Ferris that caused me such bother last time. If you'll help me, it'll let me really get stuck into my Ethan Yasma related research, you see? Well, I'll leave uh, it up to you. You look like you can handle it. So just another overtime it, quest that we just need uh, to defeat a lot of Miasmas? I don't know, this is specifically for monsters around the Miasma that he wants to research. No, we can. Mm, let's see where on the map this is. <laughs> Everywhere. Oh, that should be no problem then. Mm. Ooh, that's a big monster. Don't want to be attacked by that. Ah. Let's see, can we get on here? Level 13? We can try it. All right. Follow my lead. Suppose I'd better get my act together. Oh, yeah. Part of storm. Yeah. My senses are heightened. How about ah. this? Oh, God. Ah. It's my Let's turn. Heal up. I like no the way blast. this is going. Why don't I put my yes, this should be star slash. Try this on the side. All right. How about this? Sword. Not bad, right? Agreed. Kill oh, 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 oh. Indeed. Let's keep this up. Now Wasn't uh, too shabby. A lot quicker than it. Ooh, that's a big one. All right, I think we can handle this request. All right, follow my lead. Stay focused. Ooh, and I see a miasma. These are really Moorish. I'll help myself to another. Come, wind of healing. Take this. Oh, 
Nice, nice, nice. Always ready for a new line. I feel my power surging. Very good indeed. Can we get rid of this? The ether bends as I will it. Light has some unexpected uses too. And uh, it's gone. I thought it was gonna. Ah, oh, there it is. <laughs> this is becoming addictive. Should be uh, not uh, to let us say uh, fast with my judgments. <laughs> it will come in time. You're coming with me, treasure. All right, let's uh, get back to Doc. Because I'm sure he'd be happy. And hopefully happy enough to join our community. All right, remind me why we're here again. Yeah, took care of that uh, Espina Ferris, did you? Oh, really? No fibbing. I'll be able to get on with my important research into ether miasmas now. My hypothesis is that miasma is an exhaust gas emitted by titans. A uh, titan's fart, I suppose you'd call it. I mean, it's not such a wacky idea. Any fools knows that a titan's main source of energy is ether. I've had an idea that if we fix the ether flow, we might improve the health of titans and disperse the miasmas. Of course, I've uh, quite a bit of work to do before proving it conclusively. You can't get uh, on uh, guesses in science. You mean, one of you lot knows how to control ether flows? Well, I never. You could probably shut off an ether miasma no problem, right? No way, I don't believe it. Looks like my hypothesis is correct after all. I'll have quite a bit of work to do to gather up all the evidence now, mind. Well, thank you so much, you lot. You've done a lot to advance the cause of the science. Yes, we did. Okay, you so we guess. see people per continent where we can go. So we're probably going to go to four different locations here. Uh, my research on the ether miasmas continues apace. Thanks to your contribution, after that, my next project will be blades that can control ether, I believe. Yeah, I see that connection. Doc, the Miasma Slayer. How about next time you help yourselves? Ooh, stuffed pepper recipe. This is becoming addictive. All right, let's move on. Oh, ooh, wait, let's talk first. Oh, have you not come to hear more about my research on ether miasmas? Fascinating stuff, I know. I'm always happy to ramble on about my ideas, especially to blades who can control the flow of ether. But where was I? Alright. Ether miasmas are emitted by the titans as a form of waste product. Mmm, yummy. Stabilizing the flow of ether around the miasma is key to its removal. Are you following me so far? Good. So, thanks to the self-purifying power of titans, the miasma is dispersed naturally in the air. If you connect the dots, this means that to get rid of miasma, you need the means to control ether itself. That probably is enough rambling for now. Come find me again if you don't ever want to hear more. Well, we will. You're part of our community now, so we kind of have to. <laughs> yeah, let's see if we can get uh, the Torigoth before the end of the episode, because I'm very curious to see this how it looks like. Addictive. Because we're already on the region with where it's supposed to be, Torigoth, so yeah. Oh, there it is, the entrance. 
Well, here we are. I say we rest a bit. Who's in? <gasps> it's destroyed? Well, at least we know there it's going to be rebuilt. But it's insane. Oh, no. Here, too. Gormot's an attractive target, but this... Whoever did this clearly had no compassion or respect for the people they killed. Well, whether it was Malos or someone else, either way... Clearly, they're all toast. Mithra. <laughs> Laura. It's... it's okay. Mother could have run away somewhere safe. Yeah. As long as we don't know, it can be either way. So let's uh, keep the hope alive. I think that's the only thing you can do. But this does explain that uh, it doesn't look anything like the current Torigoth because has, it has been rebuilt over the years and grown, of course. This is terrible. So much destruction expert. in the past. Are we going to try to make a difference with our community? Hmm. Well, even if not a big difference, at least we're gonna try. Hmm. I see an encampment there. I wonder if there's gonna be exactly enough uh, barrels for the quest. Or if we just have to find a part of it. of an expert. Alright, I think that's it. All the things... Oh, wait, there's one more thing in the rubble. And two more green barrels. And I guess then we just move on. Yeah. And now, back to your regularly scheduled daytime. Shall we keep moving? Can you imagine how Laura is feeling? Getting an inkling of hope of where her mother is, and then going to the place where she is, and then it totally being annihilated. It would be heartbreaking. Don't have to tell me twice. No, it's all right. not enough for you to. Yes, and we don't have the mining skill yet, so we need more people for that. I'm something of an expert. Mm, what's that? Ooh, treasure chest. And a skill chip. I think that's one level higher for some people. Alright, I think I'm gonna leave it here so we can, uh, as I said, deal with the impression of the village totally destroyed. And I'm sure that it was a beautiful village once it was still in one piece. I wish I could have seen that. Definitely. But next time we're gonna go over to our next location on the map. And where is that exactly? Uh, all the way over in the corner so perhaps we'll find some hints about where her mother is or anything like that and if not we will probably continue on with serving Adam and in his quest but until then I wish you a great night morning day wherever you are and if you're still here don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time as we continue on with the story see you then bye bye